So if tan of theta is equal to 13, what are all possible values of cos theta? Okay, so tan of 13. Let's take a moment to think about what this means with a unit circle before we rush into any algebra. So if I draw my unit circle, or attempt to, let's see. so what do I know? Well, by definition, basically, the tangent is the slope of the appropriate line. So slope of this line is what tangent is, OK? And we're looking at slope of a third. So that would correspond to kind of something like this, I suppose. But you see there's another position which have the same slope, namely the position on the other side, exactly opposite. So the, what does that mean? Well, that means there are two positions on the unit circle which would have tan of theta is equal to a third. And the cos values, or the x-coordinates there, are going to be negatives of each other. So that tells me there can't be one value of cos. There's going to be two potentials, two potentials, depending on which of these two sides you're on. So this is slope one third. So let's try and work out what this is. So what's the relationship between tan and cos? Well, we've just seen that one plus tan squared of theta is equal to sec squared of theta, haven't we? And sec is one over cosine. So I think I can do some basic algebra to undo this. So this would imply one plus a third squared is equal to sec squared of theta. So this would imply, okay, it would be a ninth plus one, it would be 10 over nine, is that right? Maybe, is equal to sec squared of theta. Now, this, remember, is equal to one divided by cos squared. So we could take the reciprocal of everything, this would give me cos squared of theta is equal to nine over 10. And finally, we could take square roots, but I'd have to take the plus and minus, remember, because I know from the unit circle there are two potentials. So this would have to be plus minus the square root of 9 over 10. And I'm not going to bother simplifying that. There's absolutely no need. So that's quite a good example. Conceptually, it's, it's a little bit challenging. You've got to really understand what it is you're doing. I hope this also points out that I mean, understanding the unit circle and all of this is absolutely crucial. If you don't understand the meaning of cos, tan, and sine in terms of the unit circle, this is incredibly difficult.